Hi, I'm Rose. I'm Jay. Let's, Let's play. play. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Rose and Jay Play. Today, I'm going to be playing a game that I'm really excited about. It's called Cinders, and I found this online when I was looking up information about Otome games and whatnot for Magical Diary, and I was really excited to play it because it's about fairy tale women obviously I think four of them and their motivations and it really goes more into depth than or it's supposed to go more into depth than what you know Disney and the such do uh, the artwork is also supposed to be absolutely amazing it's by a woman named Graciana Zielinska and I know I'm butchering that name and I'm incredibly sorry this game is made by a company called Moa Cube and sorry I <laughs> telling you all this information while the game is going but I'll put the link to their website at the bottom you can buy it from there if you're in. yeah just buy it it looks amazing already like jumping off the bat before I even start playing I think it's amazing I still can't believe I've been delaying this for so long it makes me wonder if I decided to act earlier maybe things wouldn't be so broken between us maybe with just a little effort this family wouldn't fall apart like this but I suppose it was easier to complain and do nothing rather than to try to change things. Isn't it always? Yeah. Tonight it's different. This is the night of change, the night where my plans finally take effect. I can hear my stepsisters talking in soft voices in the hall. I imagine they too won't get any sleep tonight. Now, if you haven't realized, this is Cinderella. During the last few days, I've learned so much more about them, but can it erase all the years they tormented and humiliated me? Playing Cinder's a bit like reading a book, presented with a choice of what to say, think or do, shit, 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 story ahead. Apparently this is really heavily based on your player choices, so let's hope. Let's hope I do good. I don't know what to think about people. People should get what they deserve or deserve a second chance. Deserve a second chance? You can't erase the past, that's for sure. Forgive, but never forget. But I know that sometimes we don't choose our fates. Were circumstances different, my stepsisters could be good people. We could be friends. Whatever happens, I hope they won't come into harm. They deserve another chance. Ugh. Oh, I just look at the artwork, right? It's it's gorgeous. It's so detailed. It's so amazing. Gloria, I still can't believe she did it. I would never have suspected. Of course, but everyone is a dim -witted. Everyone is as dim -witted as you are. Never does anything out of the ordinary or unexpected. Oh yes, I'm sure you were able to foresee what would happen. Did you see it in T- Oh, whoops. Did you see it in tea leaves or readers in children's book one afternoon while avoiding work and being useless as usual? I did entertain the thought that she might do something like this, if you must know. But believe what you want, I don't care. I also suspected she might try to do something. She was so secretive and compliant at times that an explosion seemed inevitable. What did I do? I just didn't expect she had it in her. Oh, right, up to the ball, right? Gloria, please, sometimes you'll sound like a cliche villain from a bad romance novel. Of course, if something is twisted, weird, or shocking, then you won't consider it. Not everyone is like you, Sophia. I know not everyone is. You're not. Though you try your best to be like Mother, always responding the same way regardless of the situation. Predictable, boring, and stupid. You are not Carmosa, remember? You do not lead, you mindlessly follow, and it shows. Shut up, you! Oh. Name of the prince. Ooh, we're gonna try and some shoes. It's him. Why did he have to come in the middle of the night? Well, the wonders never cease. I guess this night of change is not over yet. Just as your ridiculous cliche impersonations aren't done yet either. Is she talking to me? My impersonations? There's no time for this now. No, I'm sure mother will deal with you later. I'll go summon her. I would tell mama I own you. You do that. Open up. I won't repeat myself. Mother? Sophia, don't stand like that. Open the door. Let this noisy man in. Yes, mother. Ah, Captain, what brings you here this time of night? Spare me these false pleasantries. You know why I'm here. Where is she? Very well. Sophia gets Cinder's hair eyes away. Yes, mother. Be quick about it, child. Captain, would you fancy some wine while we wait for, wait for my lazy stepdaughter? Don't push it to you. No, this is not a courtesy visit. 
I'm afraid a lot is going to change here tonight. I don't know when he turned off me. He's right. Nothing will ever be the same. Nothing. I must admit I'm afraid of it too. Some independent woman I am. Cinder's mother has summoned you. Move. You know she doesn't like to wait. Fine, fine. I'm moving. Just give me a moment. Make sure it's quick. Cinders, can I... can I ask you something? Yes, Sophia? The whole situation, what happened this evening, the guard bashed out our door at all. It's because of you, right? You planned it. How should I reply? Tell the truth. I find it so much easier to just tell the truth. Bad things may happen, but, eh, you know what? It's really hard to keep lying. What a tangled web we weave and all that. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I definitely made it happen. Funny, it all started with my stepmother summoning me, just like now. Seven days earlier. What a beautiful morning. The last few days were all rain and gloom, but today is different. Today is summer in its fullest. Okay. It's so nice to see the sun again. It can get pretty cold in this room of mine. Although I don't feel so frisky right now, I could use more beauty sleep. Shouldn't have burned the midnight oil over a book last night. Wow, well, I'm just amazing. I'm smart and beautiful and everything. And a silly book, too. Some adolescent girl, pretty and numb and freshly cut flowers, shows divine humility and courage while suffering oppression from her abusive family. I wonder what this book is about. Who writes these things? <laughs> Do they really want young women to develop this martyr-like attitude? This is just nonsense. It's dangerous, too. Indeed it is. Funny, though. If it's really that bad, it makes me so angry. Why did I read it in the first place? Sometimes you just pick something up. Maybe something in it really echoes a part of my own experience. I don't know, and I'm not going to spend the morning wondering about it. Of course, it isn't as if I'll get to enjoy the day, either. Lady Carmosa will certainly make sure that I have to do the worst chores. The old hag could use any of her students, but no, she always sends me. I get the feeling she simply wants to humiliate me. Ugh... Oh, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like, I should be looking at the text, shouldn't I? If only father was still here. On a day like this, he would surely take me to the forest. We always went to the lake, the magical lake as he called it, and left a loaf of bread under the old tree. Gotta pay tribute to the fairies. You never know when you might need their help. Mm. Good old man. He used to tell me stories about the little folk, even when I was far too old to believe them anymore. I miss him so much. But enough daydreaming. Honestly, I talk to myself way too often these days. That was quite the long monologue. It's only a moment before I start considering Mice and Sparrow as my only friend, and we will go frolicking and singing together. What a sight that would be. Luckily, I know better than that. I may get lonely sometimes, but I'm not empty-headed. Time to get up, Cinder. The day has only just started. And you never know what the future may bring. Ooh, look at me, I'm pretty. I still have some time before my sisters wake up. I could stare my, start my cleaning duties to have more time later, or I could try to finish that book I was reading last night. Or I could seize this opportunity to do sweet nothing. Ha! Yeah, it sounds like something I would do. Missing the part, you can always rewind the game using the mouse wheel or the up arrow. You can't rewind past decisions or through other important moments, though. Okay. Sorry, guys, I forgot to put my stopwatch on so that I can finish this at a decent time. So it's on. It's not like I have time for myself very often. Hmm. Well, this is what I would do. Reading the book is pretty good. Start cleaning and have time later. Well, they probably just want me to see me clean. It doesn't really matter how much I clean. So uh, I'm gonna go with read the book. Since my father's death, Carmosa and her daughters treat me as their servant. Cinders do the cleaning. Cinders go to town. Cinders, why is it my dress washed yet? Wow, it sounds like me and my sister. Ugh, I hate it so much, in that I tell her to do the cleaning. I'm sure today won't be any different. At least I still have my books to take me away from this. The book I read last night was pretty aggravating, but not all romances are like that. I have some favorites. My sisters took most of my other things, all the dresses and trinkets. But luckily for me, books hold no value for such practically minded young ladies. I must admit though, I've read them all to death by now. Carmosa would never spend a penny on something so unpractical. So I'm stuck with what father got me. 
mostly fairy tales and legends he gave me when I was a child. I don't really believe in knights and shining armor or fairies anymore, but I would be lying if I said I didn't enjoy reading about them. Well, that's why we're playing this game, right? The one I'm reading now, yet again, is about the Lady of the Lake. Sorcery, romance, adventure, I bet that even in a hundred years it won't get old. Same thing as what I've read tonight, really, but good writing and characters can make all the difference. So, which chapter was it? Cinders, are you now? Cinders, where are you? Oh, I see you're raising again, and not a big surprise. I'm sorry, but I'll have to drag you out of that little fantasy world of yours. Mother wishes to see you immediately. She wishes to see me? Did she tell you what she wants? No, of course not. Why would she? No, of course not. Why would she? Why would I want to ask her in the first place? She looked rather angry, though. That doesn't sound good. I hope I'm not in some kind of trouble again. I really could have asked her, you know. I think you mistook me for one of those gentle, well-mannered, noble girls who care about others. Sorry to break it to you, but I don't. I like her. She's honest about being a bitch. If you are in trouble, that means I get a free pass today, so I'm rooting for it with all my heart, sis. Really? I, I, I didn't know. I had no idea her name was Sophia. My aren't you the charming human being? Thank you. Now hurry up and let's go already. Shut up. Ah, Cinders, jeez. More pretty. There's always like little, little things of dust in the air. Clearly don't clean this place well enough. I used to play in this hall as a child, but this building isn't much of a home anymore. Ever since my father passed away, it feels like this place is just an empty shell. Carmosa does her best to keep the residence in its former splendor, and I guess most would be fooled by it. But for me, this place feels like it is fading away. Oh, so you didn't get lost after all. I don't know what's happening with her voice. Oh, this is Gloria. I was starting to think that you couldn't find your way. But it seems you were just taking your precious time with no regard for the rest of us. You're as hopelessly irresponsible as that sister of mine. No wonder that mother can't count on anyone other than me in this house. Gloria, hey. Don't tell me you got caught up daydreaming about some prince coming to save you. No, did you? Hmm. I mean, she probably, she probably was. Yeah, why not? You ask me. You should be the one dreaming of being rescued. It's obvious you hate your current life. Watch your tongue. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't I? When's the last time you were actually happy? Wow, this is some deep shit. It's very thoughtful of you to worry about me, but if I were you, I'd pay more attention to your situation. I don't want your pity. Save your pity for the week. And before you get any more foolish ideas, I think you should know that Mother is calling for you. She says she has a special job for you, but we have something rudimentary enough for you to handle. So you were sending her to fetch me then? Mother entrusts me with important tasks. Don't mistake me for being on your level. You wait here, I'll let her know that you finally rolled out of bed. Alright. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Feels empty again, even Gloria's presence is better than nothing. Truthfully, I feel bad for her. I may be the servant around her, but her situation isn't that different from mine. But Gloria and Sophia spend every waking moment doing Carmosa's bidding. Just because it's not scrubbing floors doesn't mean they're not servants too. So you're finally up, you lazy girl. Can't anyone in this house just do what is asked of them? I swear you feeble-minded girls are going to be the death of me. Bah! You've wasted too much of my time already. I have a job for you. What? What, what is happening to my voice? Go into town and find the merchant to buy it. I need you to pay him for a certain service. I've been giving you 200 sovereigns exactly. Don't you dare lose them. Oh, I must be a fool to entrust you with this much money. But unfortunately, I've no one else to send. I have better plans for those two useless daughters of mine. Now hurry up, child. Time is of the essence. Kermosa has been speaking to me this whole time, alternating between insults and orders. Do I really have to silently accept this? Good service. What exactly is the service you're paying for? For you to know. Well, I have to know what I'm doing, don't I? I get any of you girls as a baby without asking such vacant questions. <laughs> now hurry up and go. Promise is even more angry than usual today. I wonder what set her off. 
I've never seen her this defensive. She must be hiding something. I suppose it could be worse. A trip to town isn't such a terrible thing. It's a beautiful day and a great excuse to get away from the house. I won't even get in trouble for leaving as quickly as I can. Besides, Tobias has always been nice to me, so I'll enjoy seeing him again. This could be a rather pleasant trip. Yeah, I get to leave the house. Oh, okay. I guess I have to go through the forest. Which makes no sense, but okay. Oh, forest. I suppose I should be grateful. Even though Carmosa practically kicked me out of the house, it's better than staying there. It really is beautiful here, and it's a much needed break from that toxic house. The lake that my father took me to as a child isn't far away, too. I really miss our trips to the lake. It would be nice to visit it again, if only for the sake of memories. I wonder if I have enough time. Carmosa did tell me to hurry after all. <laughs> Fuck Carmosa. Carmosa will yell at me when I get back, no matter what I do. It's impossible to please that woman. Well, then I suppose a trip to the lake wouldn't make a difference one way or the other. It's been so long since my last visit, and I do miss it. I'll go. Hooray, what's so special at the lake? I'm glad I chose to come. This place is just as beautiful as it was when Father used to take me here. As a child, I knew that this place was magical, but I've outgrown fairy tales now. Still, there's something to this place. It feels enchanted. Maybe it's because it hasn't changed a bit since I was a little brat. I remember that Father would always leave a gift for the fairies every time he visited. Maybe I should do the same. Yeah, sure, why not? I wish I had brought something with me, but I don't really own anything that would make a proper gift anyway. Well, it's the intent behind the gift that matters more than the actual gift. I hope the fairies think that way. As long as I'm honoring the fairies, they'll appreciate it. That's what Father would say. I guess he really was a big child deep inside. I think I'll weave a wreath out of some flowers here. I'm sure the fairies would appreciate it. Hmm, it's coming along nicer than I expected. It's been such a long time since I did anything like this. It feels a little nostalgic. It's funny how when we grow up, we start rejecting things we consider childish, only to return to them later with great joy. I think I'll leave this wreath under that old oak. That's where Father always left our gifts when we came. Ugh, it's been too long here already. I need to get into town. Town! I wonder what I'm going to be doing at the cemetery. Finally at the town. I should probably head straight to Tobias' shop. Hmm, strange. What's that crowd over there? Everyone seems to be surrounding that building. I wonder if someone around here can tell me what's going on. Excuse me, ma'am, could you tell me what that crowd is for? Oh, child, haven't you heard? A bunch of good-for-nothing thugs took their hideout there. Bastards kidnapped a child. Oh, jeez. I'm sure you know it's market day today. A lot of folk come into town to trade their wares. But there's also the unwelcome element, you know what I mean. One of those mer one of the merchants caught some ruffians red-handed stealing from him. Like it's no one's business. So we naturally grabbed whatever pointy thing came in handy and made sure these low lives know we don't take kindly to thieves in this town. But those scum grabbed a child and locked themselves up in that house. They're threatening to kill the brat if anyone tries to enter. Oh, hostage situation. That's horrible. Oh, the poor mother. Thank goodness some lads noticed Peralt, the captain of the prince's guard, drinking in the inn. Drinking. A few men went to fetch him from the tavern. He grabbed that blade of his and went into the house without saying a thing. I wish that good-for-nothing husband of mine would be so brave. He's only good for drinking and complaining, I tell you. You notice how old women in these stories always have just the right amount of time to nag about their husbands? It's been silent like a graveyard in the night since the captain went in. Who knows what happened there? Oh, such awful times we live in. That truly is sad. Thank you for telling me. I hope that child doesn't get hurt. If the captain of the guard plans to fight, it's sure to be dangerous in there. Wait, everyone has stopped talking. Did something happen? Someone is coming outside. Cinders. Is that the captain of the guard? The child is safe now. Someone get rid of the bodies. Perot. Ew, I suppose he is trash. Ahem, <clears throat> switching accent. Wow, did he just take care of an entire gang of bandits on his own? He acts like it wasn't even a big deal. He just disappeared without even waiting for any thanks. It feels as if he doesn't even care what anyone thinks of him. I'm intrigued to know what sort of man could do something so heroic and yet remain so emotionless about the whole I'm turned on. It looks like the child has been reunited with his mother. What a relief. Uh-oh, I'm running late now. I better go see Tobias right away. And I think I'm going to leave it there. I have done for about 15 minutes, hopefully. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you do like. And I hope you're enjoying this really great game. Bye-bye.